The position we were at before we came here was a struggling situation. She lost her job being a teacher. I got my master's in 2007, but with all the job layoffs and cutbacks that they've been doing in the school districts in California, it's almost impossible to get a job. Working a job where I'm working, uh, I'd say, 80 hours in a week on one sole income with four kids, you know, trying to provide for the rent, the food, everything else. We lost our apartment. We lost our cars. We lost our footing, basically, and our stability. We were never technically on the streets now, but we were just kind of moving from place to place. We never really had a place to call home. Every probably like four or five months, we were moving somewhere else. We were staying with friends or staying in foreclosed houses or just anywhere we could stay. And then it gets to the point where between gas and you know all the other bills, it's like we're living out of buckets of water to take a shower, bathe the kids in, and it's hard to cook a meal, not have water, and use that other water that's left over to wash your dish so you could still use it for the next day. You know, paying the electricity, because obviously you gotta have the lights on, but then you decide which is more important, the water or the electricity. I think the hardest moment for me was when the water got turned off, when we knew that we had went to other resources, um, and we tried anything to try to keep the water on. And it was very hard for us to see the kids next door have their sprinklers on running just because, and they're running through it, and then call the kids over, you guys wanna come play? You know, and then I come home from work and she's like, I bathed the kids, what'd you do? They ran through the sprinklers, the neighbor's house. It's kind of funny, but then it's like, really, that's where we're at right now? We were looking for options on where to go. My mom let it, um, contacted me and told me to have her look it up, that she had a friend in Joyful Life a Bible Study who had graduated the program and told her about it. So then my mom emphasized, looked at it and said, hey, son, I think you guys need to look into this. When you, when you hit rock bottom, there's nothing else but up. In comparison to our worst day out there and our worst day here is knowing the fact that one we're safe spiritually, you know, that this we were found we have a nice foundation here. And then we just keep thinking, you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And just having that faith that he'll provide something. So our worst day out there compared to now is it was worth it in a sense. We're thankful for what we went through because it made us who we are today. Our oldest daughter is Alexandria, and she's six years old. And then we have Isabella, who is three, and then we have two younger boys. Tristan is two, and then we have Xavier, who's one. They love it, because they get to go to school every day and play with their friends, and they have their own room and their own beds. They, they love it. i just like to th say thank you for being able to provide us the stability we need, not wearing out having to worry about how we're going to buy diapers or how we're going to feed our family or where we're going to be in two weeks, you know, just being able to be okay and be a family again because I think that's the biggest thing. We weren't a family out there because we were worried about everything else and, and here we don't have to worry about anything anymore.